yo yo what's going on y'all i have a revelation coming from holy spirit this revelation is coming from proverbs chapter 2 verses 17 through 22 who forsakes the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her god for her house sinks down to death and her paths to the departed none who go to her come back nor do they regain the paths of life so you will walk in the way of the good and keep to the paths of the righteous for the upright will inhabit the land and those with integrity will remain in it but the wicked will be cut off from the land and the treacherous will be rooted out of it so the revelation that the father gave me for this scripture is someone abandoned you renounced and gave up on you And what Holy Spirit is showing me right now is the dude from coming to America 111. And um, he said, I renounce my throne. I do. N I no longer want to be king of Z Zamunda. I renounce my throne. So to renounce means to formally declare one's abandonment of claim, right, or possession. So this is something that this is something that someone has done. They have renounced their claim to you. They have renounced their right to you. They have renounced you as being their possession, as you belonging to them. They are giving it up. They are saying they no longer want it. This man is saying, I renounce my throne. I no longer want to be the king of this anymore. Okay? So that's the vision that the father just showed me of him saying, I renounce my throne. I renounce my throne. Okay. So someone abandoned you, renounced, renounced and gave up on you. They neglected what it was. The promise, the covenant that they made with the father concerning you. The father said he is bringing this to an end. He is going to have this woman to leave especially in order to start a journey he is about to cause her to deviate from the ex accepted prescribed or traditional course of action the father is saying he is saying to hashtag abort mission okay hashtag abort mission and what the father was also bringing to mind to me was Ruth and Boaz and how Ruth was promised to someone else. And that man renounced his right, his claim to Ruth. And this is how she got with Boaz. This is how her and Boaz got married because the man who originally was to be her husband renounced her okay he said she came with too much 333 he didn't want to deal with all of that basically because Boaz said if you renounce her then you're if you if you take her as your wife then you're gonna have to take on um the things of her dead husband as well or so, uh, something up to those words and he was like no that's too much I don't want it Okay, so basically, basically, this man has renounced his right to be your husband. You're the king in your life. Okay? And the father is saying he is about to bring this, he is bringing this relationship to an end. In order, especially in order for you to start your journey. So the father is saying he is about to cause you, the woman, to deviate from what was accepted, what was prescribed to you, what was given to you, what was traditional, what was the traditional course of action. The father is saying abort mission. Abort mission. He wants you to deviate from what what from what you accepted 
from what he told you and the original course of action. Not what he told you, the, well, what he told you, what was, what was given to you. This man that was given to you. He wants you to deviate from this man. This was this man was prescribed to you. He was given to you. What does it mean to prescribe? Advise or author or authorize the use of for someone in medicine or treatment, especially in writing. So the father sent you to help this person to heal he sent you as a treatment to this person the father is saying abort mission you accepted you accepted this this mission that the father gave you to to go help this person to be their treatment and this was the original course of action but the father is saying now to abort the mission this may be something that someone prayed for the father is saying abort mission this is not a message for everybody. This is a message for someone whose um, person has renounced them, has abandoned them, and has given up on them. And to renounce means they say they no longer, they no longer want to be the king in your world. They no longer want to be with you. The father saying abort mission. He know he sent you to help this person and you accept it and that was the original course of action that was the original plan but the father is saying abort mission and since you did and the father says since this man for this man since you did not go to her at the appointed time do not come now because you will not regain what it was you lost which is life this woman gave you life. You gave this man life. And the father says he will not regain you. The father is saying to this man, don't come now because you didn't come at the appointed time. And what the father reminded me was the fig tree that he cursed. It's like after he cursed, after he told the fig tree to produce and the fig tree did not produce and then therefore he cursed the fig tree for not producing and then he goes and eat and then the fig tree produces fruit it's too late i already ate i'm no longer hungry you've already been cursed well you can't even produce fruit but that was just an example you won't even be able to produce fruit this person after they um after they didn't do what it was the father told them to do at the appointed time that they were supposed to do it. And on top of that, they renounced what it was. They renounced you. They said they didn't want you. They didn't want to be your person. They didn't want to be your king. They didn't want to be your queen. The father says abort mission. And this person will not regain you back in their life. And the father says this, this woman bought you life. And what does it mean to bring someone life? What does it mean when the father says that you brought this person life? It means you were willing to die in order to defend or support someone or something. So you, you, you were a representation of Jesus Christ to this person in this person's life. You were the person that God sent to represent 9-11, the love of Jesus Christ to this person. And this is how you brought them life. Because you were willing to be that love, that unconditional love. You were willing to support them and to, and to defend them and, and protect them. The Father says abort mission. Abort the mission of supporting, defending, and protecting this person. And to abort mission means to end the mission before it is finished. To end the mission before it is finished. And the woman of God keep walking in the way of good 
and keep going on the path of doing what is good and right in the eyes of the Father, the Savior, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? For it says in verse 21 and 22, For the upright will inhabit the land, and those with integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land, and the treacherous will be rooted out of it. Okay, and this is someone who dealt treacherously with you. And treacherously means disloyal and faithless manner. He behaved treacherously. Synonyms, faithlessly, faithlessly, false, traitorously, and treasonably. So this is someone who is disloyal, dishonest. They were cheating. And they were lying about everything. And they betrayed you. They turned on you. The father says abort mission. And to abort mission means to end this mission before it's even finished. Don't even worry about it no more. Just don't even worry about it no more. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Thus says the Lord. Don't even worry about it no more. Abort mission. Thus says the Lord. And this is somebody who will not be able to regain access back into your life. The father says, if you didn't come at the appointed time when you were supposed to come, if you didn't produce when you were supposed to produce, do not come now. Do not come later. You will not regain life. Access denied. Loan denied. Mission aborted. You renounced your throne. You abandoned and gave up and walked away. You cheated, lied, betrayed, and manipulated. And the father says you will not regain access back into his daughter's life. Access denied. The father says do not give this person life. If this person comes comes to you seeking life because you are the original treatment, you are what was prescribed for them to help them heal, to help them get better. When they come to you for that treatment, when they come for life, the father says, abort mission. You are not to support, defend, or protect this person. The father says, put all your trust in him and all your heart. As well as the father says, don't think that he did not know that this was, was going to happen. But this person also had a chance to make things right. This per You are the answer to somebody's prayers. And before the father sent you, he asked you if this is something you wanted to do. You might not have known the outcome of what was going to happen, but you came into agreement with the father that you would do this for him. Because this is something that somebody prayed for. Somebody prayed for you. Somebody prayed for someone like you. And the father, before he sent you to them, he asked you, would you do this? Do you want to do this? Do you come into agreement with doing this? With bringing my son closer to me? With bringing my son back to me? With bridging the gap? With be um, becoming his wife? Do Would you agree? Would you agree? And you said yes. Not knowing what the outcome would be. But the father knew. Okay? And he was giving this person a second chance at life a new opportunity a he was showing this person like like he said earlier you were a representation of christ to this person you were the the father's representation of his unconditional love you were that for this person you helped to heal this person 
their heart. You were everything that you were supposed to be and more. You did everything you were supposed to do and more. Thus says the Lord. And if this person rejects you. 1511. And they renounce and they tell go to the father and they tell him I no longer want to be the king. I no longer want to marry this woman. I no longer want to be with this woman. Get somebody else to do it. And they abandon you. And they neglect you. And they move on. The father says abort mission. And trust him. Oh my goodness. I just feel like it's going to be people in the comments uh, like saying why and thus and this and thus forth. And it's like, learn to trust the Lord. And this message is not for everybody. If the father didn't tell you to stand for this man and you didn't come into agreement with the father to stand for this man, then this message, it, may, it very well may not be for you. If you don't have the understanding of what the father is saying in this message, it very may not well not be for you. If you can't trust what the father is saying and move on, then it very well may not be for you. But the father is saying this is someone who has decided to reject what it is that he has offered them and that was you the representation of his unconditional love they not only rejected you but they are rejecting the father as well and the father is saying abort mission and that's just like as simple or as plain as i can put it they are not only rejecting you but they are rejecting the father he does not want your they don't want your love they don't want the love of the father or, or maybe they just don't want your love, 1717. 17. And they want what they want. But that has nothing to do with you. The best was offered to them. And if they don't want the best, then go let them get the worst or the second best. Or whatever it is that they want. But you continue to move on and continue to move forward and put all your trust and faith and confidence in our Father. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and the rest will be added to you. He doesn't tell us the outcomes of all situations. But when you come into agreement with him and you agree to do something for him, then just do that thing. And when that thing is done, then it's done. Just know you did your part. And you can't worry about whether somebody else does their part or not. Whether they walk in agreement or not. Whether they do what they're supposed to do or not. You can't worry about them. I did what I was supposed to do. They didn't do, but they did. So, okay, okay, move on. Especially if the father is telling you to abort mission. Why are you still sitting here crying about it? Talking about it. Move on. Move forward. You got a word from the father that says abort mission. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. Okay, get out of there. Go now. And the father says, it's okay. So there's no need to cry. There's no need to have a broken heart about it. Your heart would be even more broken if you stayed and stayed and stayed and just waited and waited and waited. And, and this man don't even want to be with you. He don't want to love you. And, and you waiting 10 and 5 and 6 months and 10 months and 3 years and 6 years. And he still don't want to be with you. He's still not coming back. And the father is telling you to leave now today. Go abort mission today. Listen to the word of the Lord so you don't waste your time and you can heal if you need to. But you can just feel your, you know, fill your cup up with the Lord and get back to it. You know what I'm saying? Fill your cup up with the Lord, get back to it. But that's the message. That's the message. That's the message, okay? Um, this person, he renounced his throne. He no longer wants to be the king of Zamunda. He renounces his throne. Okay? And let him go. Let him go. That's fine. Let him go. He abandoned you and neglected, gave up on you. 
neglected the promise, the covenant he made with the father. The father says abort mission. Abort mission. And that's it. Abort mission. You are free to move about the country. <laughs> Peace.